this is Colombo on foot and it's their first episode. So we're right now here in uh, Peta. Is it, is it Peta? At Sint Peta. So we'll be going around and we'll be eating the uh, local street food here. So let's just go around and have some fun and eat some food. Get, get fat. Oh guys, by the way, uh, it's powered by Coca-Cola. Yeah, so. so as you can see guys, this place is just completely crowded. It's 37 degrees, I think. And I'm just melting here. So hot. Uh, can we eat that? I don't think so. Is this part of the Bombay Sweets? <laughs> So we made it to the Bombay Sweets, Royal Sweet Market. Makers of the finest Bombay Sweets. As you can see, they have a bunch of different, different sweets over here. They have green sweets, pink sweets, they're brown, light brown, have some pink, some more pink. It's like uh, macaroni or something, but it's a sweet. Yeah guys, so, uh, so far all these sweets look really amazing, but what's even better is uh, AC. It's AC here. Finally. <laughs> so, yeah, so the first thing that uh, we'll be trying is the samosa, so let's go ahead and have a bite. Everyone's just staring at me like... <laughs> it's just a samosa, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, I mean, uh, it's pretty good. Mm. Uh, I think it's chicken samosa, right? Yeah, so there's like small chicken bits over here, as you can see, and uh, it's nice and crisp as well, so it tastes pretty good because of that, uh, deep fried in oil. Uh, yeah, I would say I would, yeah, I would say I enjoyed this. Out of 10? Out of 10? Oh. Uh, probably like an 8. 8. 8 out of 10. <laughs> What's this called again? Hello, Okay. Yeah. Hey guys, so, uh, so we're going to be trying now the uh, Malai Janu. I think I said it wrong, but... <laughs> okay, let's give it a try. So it, yeah, so it kind of tastes like a uh, like a honey bread kind. Of uh, I'm not like I'm not exactly sure because I've never tried uh, anything like this before. Uh, but overall, uh, I would say it's okay. What is that? Maybe a six. <laughs> okay, guys. So now we're going to be trying the three colored. Brisket? No, it's not a brisket. It's a musket. Musket. Yes. <laughs> we'll, uh, so we'll start off with my favorite color, which is red. So, uh, as you can see, it's nice and bouncy and juicy and sticky. Lots of oil, which is you know good for your health. Uh, and yeah, it tastes very mushy. It's uh, yeah, and it's also got nuts and stuff as well inside. So if you're allergic to nuts, you can die. Green color, which out of the three colors doesn't look the most appetizing because it looks like algae. Uh, but yeah, I'll try. It. Uh, it tastes also the same, the same, same, but different, but still same. So also, I would give this a six out of ten. It's pretty good. It's pretty good though. So. Okay, guys. So uh, so currently we're gonna have a small competition to see who can finish their musket first. Uh, so before we start, I just wanna let you know that I I, I like that. You what? Yeah, I like wow. it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Three, two, okay, one, go. Hello. Hello. 
Nice. <laughs> There's a reason I'm fat. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so after eating the uh, musket, you know, with all the sugar and all that, we should wash it down with some more sugar, you know, be healthy. Uh, the ice cream on it really adds to the flavor. That's about as good as my uh, descriptions get. <laughs> I'll probably say a nine. Okay guys, so now we're going to try the orange juice. At first I thought it was uh, pineapple, but apparently not. I'm very disappointed. And it tastes like orange juice. It's pretty good. <laughs> I mean, actually it tastes kind of uh, watered down a bit. Uh, so it's probably not the best, but... I'll probably give it like a 5 out of 10. Okay guys, so it's time to find the next place that uh, we're going to go in, uh, and find some food from. So. Let's go! This is fun. This is chaotic. It just took what? It just took took going all around. There's cars and there's just random people knocking onto you. And it's like you think to yourself, should I fight or should I not fight? <laughs> hey guys, so we're currently in the shop. We're going to buy some tambili, which is coconuts in English. In case you don't know Sinhala. Uh, apparently it's 80 rupees only, so it's a pretty good bargain, I guess. Since, uh, since this is technically like street food, we also have some fish on the ground over there. Street food, street food. Yes, it's a, it's the street food sushi right there. So these guys are scared that uh, I will die if I, uh, if I drink this, you know, this black stuff over here. Dude, I've been living here for like eight years. <laughs> Hey guys, so currently we are in uh, Alukale and apparently so this is the hub for like all street food. So basically like on all these streets, you can find kotu and like just anything else. And there's also this random guy, this uh, very nice stranger over here. Hello, my friend. Yeah. It's a uh, good, uh, good, good food. Good country, good climate. Yeah, yeah. Good it's, uh, yeah. Good it's, uh, people. Yeah, good people, good kotu. What you like, you know? Yeah, why can't have it? Yeah, why can't have it? Why can't have it? No, I don't care. Ah, ah, hari ini kau nak? Hari suri. Okay, so as you can see, uh, lots of people are very friendly here, uh, and so yeah, yeah, exactly like exactly like this man here. <laughs> so let's check this place out. Russia. You're Sri Lankan. I'm. 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 Oh, yeah. I'm looking at my face is uh, Indonesia. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, Chinese, right? Exactly yeah. Chinese. Oh. <laughs> okay, guys, so right now we are here in front of the stall, and apparently they make badam milk, which is kind of uh, almond infused milk essentially. So, as you can see here, he's, uh, yeah, uh, he'll be making a couple of uh, glasses of it for us, and we'll and we'll give it a taste test. This is alcohol? Alcohol, alcohol? Not alcohol, without alcohol. This is pure. Not chemical. No chemical. No chemical. No chemical. No chemical. No all, 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 all pure. Ah, that's good. Original this one. Okay, okay, okay. That's a very interesting taste. It's kind of like juice, milk and almonds all yeah, all in one. And it's really really good actually. It's a good one. I'll probably give this a 
Nine out of ten? Recommended? Yes, 100%. Yeah. Very good. Hey guys, we're in Golf Face right now, and as you can see, there is a bunch of street food vendors right down the beach over there. And so we'll be going out and uh, checking the place out. And also we're going to just see what, uh, how many diseases we can catch as well. So let's check it out. As you can see, the crows are also here for the street food. Amazing, amazing stuff. Uh, make them good. Okay guys, so as you can see, we're right now here at the stand that sells isowade, which is basically prawns and uh, dalkari wade, I think. I think that is what that is. Oh yes, there's iso and wade, obviously. <laughs> okay, so basically what they do is they pick up this isowade and they have a special curry over here which you can see and they add it to the isawade uh, on some paper and they just give it to you with some vegetables chopped up all it's all here and then you just eat it it's pretty simple stuff it's nice and hot yeah it's uh so, so it's just prawns with some uh, wade mixed together and it comes out as a good combination. So I think it works well. So if you want to get your own iso wade, you can just come down here to the golf fort area and grab one. It's also cheap, so get one. I'll rate it an eight out of 10, probably. And there's also some crab here, but honestly, I've got no idea how to eat it. Like, it's, it's, it's with the shell and everything, like, what, what am I supposed to do? It's like, oh, oh, oh. As, you can, as you can see, it's uh, Uludu Wade. I call it uh, Madehila Wade, because there's a, there's a hole in the middle. It's like a donut. Awesome. It's actually really good. At first glance, it looks raw, but it's actually not raw. I would give this a 9 out of 10. So here we have the, the badu. Uh, so they add some chili powder into it to, I think, add some flavor. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is basically the same. It's just that it's straight and it's like a stick. Pretty good stuff though. So, I will give this an eight, or, uh, eight upon 10. And the reason for that is because some of them are ac actually are not crispy. They're kind of soggy a bit, but still good, you know? If you love chips, then these chips are definitely worth chipping in for. <laughs> I'm Local Sudda and this is the ending of the uh, of this episode of Colombo on Foot by Chocolat. Not actual chocolates, but you know the magazine. So stay tuned for the for the next episode, which is gonna be on something, I don't know. I'm not invited for the next episode apparently, so 